Transformers, Chapter 7, Belly of the Beast. For people who are new and have just stumbled onto this video, we are doing the hard difficulty. No upgrades, no perks, no grenades. And we're moving through now playing as Swindle. And we are a tank. And this is probably my favourite level in the game. It is a really high octane, really violent, really aggressive sequence. And it's quite nerve wracking too because you feel like you're being pushed to get things done. But it turns out you're not really being pushed that much. You just have the illusion of it and it's done really elegantly. And we're going to be destroying this huge thing above us. We're going to be fighting lots of enemies in the car. And then we're going to be taking on some bigger dudes. And it's just a nice combination of factors here. You can use the vehicle, you can use your transformer. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to be using a lot of vehicle here. And I just love the scope of this level. It's got some really cool things going on. I will say one thing though, if you could play Vortex here, you would shit on this segment. Because that transformer is so bloody good. Now, the detection on this is kind of fiddly as well, shooting these areas. Something to know guys, if you don't kill these quickly, you will fail. You can actually fail this moment. And if you get really unlucky and all the enemies like gangbang you like they daily did then, you will die so quickly on this mission. But I don't usually like sequences like this in these games. I usually find them a bit boring and I want to get back to the normal gameplay loop. But this game manages to nail such a, a brevity that it leaves me wanting a little bit more. And brevity, I think, is dead in games now. It's completely gone. Like, you spend more time in Alan Wake 2 running around as a naked fat guy at the start in the forest than you do this entire mission. And you don't do anything in that moment. You just walk around and, and like listen to atmospherics and then see a couple of like little vignettes and before you know it they try and hit you with a really stupid jump scare and you realize that Alan Wake has changed and it'll never be what it once was. Uh, but this is a difficult segment guys here. This is one of the few places in the game where I died more than at least once or twice. So be very careful. There's not really good cover, there's lots of gunners and they hurt. But look at this game dude, this game is so sick! What a fun game. What a great game. Tear down the gate with your grapple ability. What a beast. But you can see at the top of the screen there, there's the escape timer for the people that are curious. All we need to do is flatten this and move forward. I'm trying to think where this level goes. Here we go. It is cool though, isn't it? Being able to change into the car at any moment. I know it sounds like a small thing. But it's, it's interesting what you appreciate when games stop being video games. It really is. And who knows? Do you know what's really sad and really tragic, guys? When I first played this game, I didn't like it. I've already told that story. Check back in a previous video if you didn't catch it. Years later, I came back to it and I thought it was a banger. And I wondered, you know, how I'd been so harsh to it and why I could have seen it the way I saw it originally. Which, there were some extenuating circumstances. I can let myself off. Sadly... Can you imagine if we look back on Alan Wake 2 like that because video games get so shitty that Alan Wake 2 seems like this? That is fascinating to me. And speaking of fascinating, I think this is a really cool idea, this. So these flyers can stick you with a grenade. And when you're stuck with that grenade, if you transform back to a human, you knock it off. And I think that that is the cleverest, most interesting counterplay ever. And it's so simple. It's like popping flares in a jet to get rid of the heat-seeking missiles. And I really appreciate it. It's a small detail, but it's player engagement. And now that we've done this, we need to push forward because I believe there's a Titan. The Titans go down really quick when you shoot them with the car. One of the things to bear in mind though, guys, is your car does have an ammo limit. You might not think it with how flippant I am on shooting, but your car can run out of bullets and you'll have to go and pick up a cache. But you space and nuke him into oblivion. And then as soon as you see his shield go up, you want to get closer and take out the orbs. But I got really lucky then and the splash took them out for me. Which, that doesn't always happen, of course, but hopefully it happens for you. But I have a unique moment right now where I technically can't do my job, even though this is my job and I'm doing this instead. So, streaming is my job now, for folks who are wondering. And I can't stream because Nintendo have DMCA'd me. So I've been suspended for two days. And I could have used these two days to just sit on ass and relax and, you know, do some things. But I don't want to do that. I want to, to fill it with something a bit more meaningful. And being able to do these commentaries that I'm behind on is really nice because I've got a lot of footage to commentate and there's not enough hours in the day to do it all. 
So opening up some space to do this has been a bit of a godsend. And the problem is YouTube's fighting me if you don't know, guys. Every time I put a video up, it gets flagged as unsuitable for ads, and then I have to appeal it, and the appeal takes about 10 hours. And then finally I can share it with you guys and at that point I've wasted like 20 hours putting up one video and I have about 60 videos to put up so it's brutal. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to upload at least two videos a day, it could easily be three but I feel like three might be a bit too much. And because some of the videos are quite long, I'm not going to go too ham. But what I would say if you're listening to this and you like what you're hearing, if you're interested in keeping up with the channel, the bell doesn't work anymore guys. My channel's so fucking dead you won't see my videos because the people who the videos get sent to, if they don't watch it, it doesn't go anywhere else and they're too busy to watch it because they've got lives and they've got shit that they're doing and thus YouTube goes, well that's a fucking trash video, you don't want to see that. And then they don't recommend it to anybody else. So if you like what's hitting the channel, if you're excited for more of my footage, check the channel. It's the only way to keep up. There's a videos tab on the channel, on the main page, scroll to that, it literally has everything that I'm doing and you will be seeing pretty much two videos a day now until Christmas and if that sounds like something that you're interested in because you, you like having it on as background noise or whatever it is, then it would be awesome to have you with me. And it's nice that I'm able to do this because usually what happens is I, I stream all week and then on the weekend I do YouTube, but because I've streamed all week my voice is so broken that when I start doing the commentaries I'm pausing every few minutes because I need to cough.